California, where most Americans may think all our earthquakes are centered. But California's San Andreas is just one fault zone. There are at least four active earthquake zones that cover this country, all of which seismologists say have had historic eruptions and each could have another catastrophic strike at any time. Earthquakes occur as large sequences of events, not just a main shock. New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania have the 70-mile-long Ramapo Fault. These streaks are really all that's visible of the Ramapo Fault, and they continue all the way up this rock. It's one of the largest in the Northeast, and we're really just about an hour outside of New York. Never heard of it? Well, it's been quiet for a couple of hundred years, and seismologists say that's part of the problem. We know in the future at some point an earthquake is going to occur, but we don't really understand the rules of the game yet in this area. What we do know is the last major activity on the Ramapo Fault was a 5.2 centered in Brooklyn, New York in 1884. And if that same quake hit today, there are now 8 million residents of New York City. All could be affected by the Ramapo Fault's dangerous reach. One important fault is the one that crosses Manhattan from the Hudson River to the East River, more or less along 125th Street. That's a well-known fault. There are tunnels constructed for the water and for the subway lines underneath that cross this fault. And of course, there are two other hot spots. One, a subsidence zone that's just off the Pacific Northwest coast. It's in the water, but it's pretty active all the time. And the granddaddy of them all is the San Andreas Fault. There are thousands of earthquakes there every year.